Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Dead Rising 4. Let's play with me, Cory. So, we are just starting off the same place we left off last time, and uh, let's see how this goes. They need to find Barnaby's research. Brad said it'd be in some kind of intelligence lockup. Gonna need to look around. Okay, so I just basically, literally, <laughs> just recorded the previous episode. I intercepted another one of Vic's reports. Fine, play it. So, well, Frank is back in Willamette, and surprise, he brought a stupid smug face with him. <sighs> you know, for a second, I was actually glad to see him. I thought, finally, together we'll make some progress. Once he sees how the people are doing, he'll. You know what? Never mind. <laughs> Screw that guy. Jesus. You know what? I'm a little radio silence. If you like. Why is she, she so pissed? I can't remember much of what happened beforehand, but I'm pretty sure I haven't done anything to make her angry, but who knows? I don't know. I don't remember. I'll probably see anyways later. I don't know. I, I don't think I paid much attention to everything uh, before. Stupid me. Uh, but yeah, I'm paying a lot more attention this time because I want to actually figure out this game. Wait, could I? Yeah, I could do that too. I actually have locked slots. That one kind of sucked, to be honest. Let's swap it with a shotgun. Shotguns are nice. I always love chop the sh shotguns. So let's see what's going on. Helicopter. That's always promising. You had to research facility, huh? Get back on his feet. based off the work of the late great Dr. Barnaby, perhaps. Whoa, investigate the gym. Oh, there's some stuff here. Nice. Whoa, hello. That is a lot of cash. I actually have a lot of cash compared to what my boyfriend has in his let's play or not let's play, but playthrough. Wow, Ugh, no test subject quite like a live one. Hey there, little guy. And the first time I've been behind bars. Okay. Is there something in here? Oh, okay. <laughs> Obscurious Sherda Slav memos. Zombies, I think. Wait. Okay. What is this? Brain teasers? What are you gonna send them to college? <laughs> Oh, wait, what happened? I wasn't done researching, you poop. No, 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 no! Yeah, well, I'm in a cage. Please purge all active experiments to clear quarantine. Yeah, get over here. I'm gonna shoot your face in. Pretty sure taking a shotgun with me was a better choice than the other thing I brought. Oh, wait. I'm not sure what that thing is doing. But pretty sure it doesn't like me. Pretty cool. Nice. Well, I'm just basically keeping him down. Yeah, I know! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> My thoughts, exactly. Jesus. I'm so glad I have good weapons for this. Wait, what are you doing? Are you trying to get the other one loose? Wait, what? They seem to be a lot smarter than the old zombies, though, from the older games. <clears throat> so, yeah, it looks like they managed to make them a lot smarter. At least these, these ones, with this acid or whatever they have in them, I am not sure. Enter investigation. Sure does love memos. Supervisor can kiss my ass! Yeah, they love memos. There we go. Commander Fontana has reviewed all oh, progress hello. on Project Saturn. Whoops. No addressee. Right. 
because that'd be too easy. Raz said all the stuff they took from Barnaby's lab would be in some kind of intel lockup, which is somewhere else. Yeah. Okay, gotta keep looking. What can I do with the baseball? That. Okay, never mind. Nothing. Nothing of interest, at least. Terminated. Have a nice day. Screw you, door! <laughs> Oh my god. Liquid nitrogen. Jesus. That sounds explosive. Or cold. Okay, that that thing is dead. I smell zombies. Cell phone. You gotta clear them out before we can do any serious looking. Progress. Finally. The new subjects are smart. Oh, I'm boned! Oh snap, that didn't sound too good. Well, something sure went wrong down here. Any more crazy zam zams there? Oh, you're still alive? Oh, never mind. Hallelujah, hello. You kind of scared me there. Ah. Get off me. There we go. <laughs> no. <laughs> You're not going anywhere. Oh, saved. Nice. Do I have anyone? Oh. What is this? Oh, oh no. Okay, that one could have been a good one. Oh, well, it only had one more shot left in it, so I don't think it would have been very useful. To be honest. You're still alive. Yeah. Really? There we go. Ooh, more assault rifles. Alright. I think I got them all. Now where's this intel lockup? Kill 50 fresh zombies. Oh, I didn't know I didn't ha did it. haven't done that one yet. God damn. There must be thousands of files here. Jesus. Oh. There we go. There we go. Barnaby's missing computer stuff. Retrieved by Recon Team Nova 6. What is that? Alternate vision required? Where? What's here? Wait. It is kind of confusing sometimes, this this alternate vision required. Yeah, I am using an alternate vision. Do you need the night vision thing? Oh, there we go. What is this? Nice. November 20th. There we go. The missing files, all stamped November 25th. Not bad, not bad. Clue detected. There we go. Oh, this is part of the treatment chamber I saw in Barnaby's lab. The tag has coordinates. Hmm. Briefcase. Why would I use a briefcase? So they raided Barnaby's lab on November 25th. That'll be the data I need to find the right info. Hmm. Find a recon footage. Wait, is this the right way? No, that's definitely not the right way. Oh lord, I just... <gasps> oh my god, I'm stupid. Alright, let's see. November... Yes! <laughs> oh yes! You are one sexy little surveillance record. I'm gonna take you to a computer and watch you so hard. <laughs> So well, let's see. Oh. Hey. Hey there, little guy. How you doing? <coughs> Whoa. Oh, damn. <laughs> He's dead. Guess you ought to be more careful next time. What happened? He got my way. Power coming on. Well, all right. Hanson, perimeter. Copy. Vargas, 
Inventory, pick a tag at Cadet. Roger that. McCullough, get your head out of your ass. Power and safety, I don't want any accidents. Already on it. Seizure team is inbound. They're gonna be here within the hour. I want this place mapped out, you hear me? Yes, yes sir. sir. Good. The body was cremated at 1500 hours. My seventh failure. And then... <clears throat> September 19th, 2006. Dr. Russell Barnaby. This is likely my final progress report. There's been an outbreak in the Willamette Mall. I didn't cause it. I don't know who did it. I don't even know how it's possible. Containment leak, maybe? I just... I don't know. The experiment remains LC. incomplete. Conservatively, it needs another what? 50 years research. All the data is there, uploaded into my Good. primary storage. That's what we're talking about. Let's get it. Perhaps some... Smart young scientist can make use of it. Downloading. The treatment itself remains locked at 62% effectiveness. It represents the pure truth of my creation. Oh, there? Undeath, they call it. Ha! The world has known no greater irony. <laughs> Take away the decay, the bestial wrath, the failure of the mind. Ask yourself, what remains? A zombie is just a man who never tires, never sickens, never ages. Indeed, zombies are the key to human immortality. And yet, since the livestock angle didn't pan out, oh, these Pentagon idiots remain fixated on weaponizing the plague. Proof of that, I, too, have put in a safe place. Well... I've been summoned by an unknown agent, likely to my death. The voice was familiar. Perhaps an employee or a citizen of Santa Cabeza. If so, I must go prepared. If anyone survived that incident, and if they know my name and contact information, it is likely they blame me for what happened. Additionally, the infected population grows apace. If I was a sane man, I would stay below. But I must confess to an irrational desire to witness my handiwork. Should I become infected, I must return here and use the test chamber. A last ditch effort to save myself from the plague I created. So then, farewell. Let it be known that I fought to my last to protect life. And yet, in so doing, caused untold death. Uh-oh. Ah, okay. This is, this is how the new plague came out. Okay. Gotcha. And I'm guessing that guy is actually the monster. So yeah, that guy talking that we just heard is from the first game. What the hell is going on? He's one of the scientists that made the first zombie outbreak, basically. Hanson! Get out of there! Move it! Move! I didn't know that until a couple of days ago. <laughs> so this game makes so much more sense if you play the first game. What the hell? The second game is probably good too, and the third game. I haven't played the third game yet, though. I have played some of it, but I played it mostly for the gameplay. Jesus. Here we go. Get some new zomp zombs. Whoa. He just cut that thing in half. Or that zombie died. It looks like he's the um What the hell monster. Attention, we've got a pest infestation in the intelligence lockup. Oh shit. Uh oh. Fontana! You don't scare me. I know who started the outbreak. It was Calder, one of your soldiers. Charlie Squad, redeploy to the basement, flush him out. I gotta get the hell out of here. Jesus, it's really, really dark in here. Thankfully we have night vision on our 
camera. Escape the base. Okay, so I think I'm supposed to go this way. Locked! Ugh. There's gotta be a way out of here. How the hell do you Obscurus troops get around? Okay, that is actually a pretty good question. What can I do with this one? Nothing? Nothing at all. Oh, lols. What have we here? Ah, ah, it's still warm. <laughs> yeah, he's still warm. Frank, you there? What's going on? This is gonna. Uh, a little busy, but the Cliffs notes are that Calder asshole's got our big scoop, and Fontana's trying to murder me. <laughs> What? I should have stopped and listened to what he said. Oh, well. That's a lot of steps. I don't recall authorizing your press pass. I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to finish Barnaby's research. Parley zombies him into some kind of immortality treatment. You're trying to make a mint off a bunch of aging millionaires. That was the plan, but I guess immortality isn't as profitable as cheap labor. What? At first, the client just wanted to exploit Dr. Barnaby's research, but then these things, these smart zombies started showing up and the mission changed. Pacify, domesticate, and train. You plan to make soldiers, aren't you? You're gonna make some kind of undead army. Are you out of your mind? You think anyone's gonna set these things loose with a gun? No. No, the plan was coffee farmers. Really? Oh, well, there is a lot of money in coffee. Or manufacturing, or meatpacking, or, or fucking fruit, I don't know. Peanuts. Peanuts are hard to harvest, just a thought. <laughs> Cheap, unskilled labor exported to whoever's buying. It's all about this with these guys. Yeah, when, who are these guys? You are, Frank. Assuming you pay your taxes. Oh. Burn. It's the natural order, Mr. West. <laughs> right in her face. Oh. Damn it. Well, she's dazed, at least. Oh, snap. Oh, nice. You'll pay for this. <laughs> Have some fireworks. Bitch. <laughs> oh shit. That can't be good. That can't be good. <sighs> well, I, I was gonna say when I first saw him that I hope I will be able to kill him. Oh, snap. This can't be good. But I can't remember him being, um... Commander! Commander, we are inbound to your position. Do you need assistance? Copy. Topless. Negative. Do not come here. Let me guess, that zombie's really, really smart as well. There goes her hand, I guess? But he stays intact. That's weird. Oh boy. Now he's gonna go running after the people firing better guns. Oh, snap. Yep, that's her hand. Pretty self sacrificing for a person, eh? Wolves take care of their back first. Wait, did you die? Well, if she could die of shock, of course. Oh! Oh, okay. Obscurus had what I needed. So Hammond took a break from planning a revolution to help me bust into the base. Okay, we may have left the front door open behind us. The carnage was... Well, let's just say they got what they deserved. I learned Obscurus was using Barnaby's research to create zombie slaves, which is multiple shades of gross. And Calder... Here's a good one. 
Stop me if you've heard it before. An exosuit and a zombie have a baby. It's large, angry, and has the data I need to crack this thing wide open. And I need it now more than ever. Oh. Because with Fontana dead, there's no way to prove that this whole thing is the government's handiwork. And that's the punchline. Damn. Wow. Nice. Oh, bazooka cannon. Nice. That's gonna be fun. Today's journalist report. 46%. Blogger. <laughs> oh, yes. I gotta get out of this. Okay, so I feel like... Wait, we're gonna listen to this. Death trap and fight called her. I need that hard drive. That's it? Okay. So, since I finished the case, I feel like it's time to just take a break. And, uh, yes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, though. And, uh, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you like this and want to see more. And, yeah, all the highlights videos I talked about the last video I put up. But, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching and, uh, hope to see you again next time. So, bye.